Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I got this old Con saxophone in my shop for repair and it has the clapper keys and that's with one bell key on each side and it has a patent date on the back of 1914 but it also has the tunable neck. The tunable neck has a threaded portion and when you turn this one direction the neck is supposed to go out and you turn it the other direction the neck is supposed to go in but a lot of times these get stuck. To get this unstuck, you need to take it apart. There are about five parts on here. The first one you need to take off is this little screw. A lot of times this little screw can even be stuck. This one has some junk in the slot. So I'm going to start by trying to remove that junk. I do that with a screwdriver. Take the screwdriver, put it on one end of the slot, and then push it to the other end, and that often cleans it out enough so that you can get the screw out. I got the screw out of there. It's a very small screw. What it does is it holds in the little ring that is right there. Next thing to do is take off this ring. It's not the one on the outside, but it's the one on the inside, the one that has the two notches. There's a notch there and a notch on the other side right there. Those notches are usually very dirty and filled up with slide grease and dirt and whatever else went in there. So what I'm going to do first is clean up those notches. And I'm going to do that pretty much the same way that I cleaned up the notch on this screw right here. So I'm going to clean up both of those and that will allow me to get in there with the screwdrivers. I'm also going to clean up all the junk that is in the crack here because that's what is causing the problem in the first place. So all this junk is building up and it is making this get stuck. So I'm going to clean all that up and after I'm done cleaning that up I'm going to put some penetrating oil on there. After you've cleaned up all the junk around there, you can put some penetrating oil on that. But keep in mind that if you put penetrating oil on that, you may have to replace the cork and also maybe the pad if you get it on the pad. The penetrating oil will help loosen up that threaded ring that is in there. So I'm going to let that soak in there for a little while. The way to unscrew this ring is to put something in those two notches. If you have a spanner wrench that's the right size, that works the best. But most people do not have a spanner wrench like that. Now what I'm going to do is make something like a spanner wrench to go between those two slots. I'm going to do it with a vise and two screwdriver inserts. I'm going to put the first one in there like that. The second one like that and I'm going to make sure that the blades are pointed up and down on both of these. I'm going to check to see where those line up in relation to the notches. I'm going to move these around until I get the right length. I got the screwdriver set up the right distance apart so I'm going to tighten those up so that they don't get loose. Now I'm going to put the neck in there and turn it. I need to make sure I turn it the right direction. Come on, get out of there. Okay, there. The screw is coming out now. I will show that to you. Okay, there is the threaded ring. You can see that it has the threads on this side and it is smooth on the other sides. What this ring does is it holds in this part of the neck. This part of the neck should slide in and out, but it does not. This part of the neck should turn, but it does not. So what I'm going to do next is take my soft jawed pliers, and this has soft jaws on it, so it should not damage this at all. And what I'm going to do is try to loosen this up. And now what's happening is this is getting threaded in. It's screwing its way in, but this part is not going with it because I took the ring off. And if the ring were there, it would pull the part in if it were not stuck. But it is stuck and I pulled the ring off, so it is just staying there. So now what I'm going to do is just loosen that up. And now that part is loose. And now I should be able to get this part unstuck easier. Now what I need to do is clean up all this junk in there. I'm going to use a rag for part of it at least. 
And I'll probably also need to get in there with a screwdriver or something and clean that stuff up in there too. There's a lot of junk in there. This has probably not been taken apart in many, many years, maybe even never. So it could be, oh, maybe a hundred years or so since this part of the instrument saw the light of day. I'm going to get in there with the poker and clean that up so that the penetrating oil will go in there too. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to put more penetrating oil into there. I'm going to spray more penetrating oil into there and that will help free this up. Now what I'm going to do is use this threaded collar portion to push out the portion of the neck that goes back and forth. So I'm going to screw that back on and what that's going to do, or at least what it should do, is start to push out the rest of the neck. I'm going to put a little force into this I know you can't see what's going on underneath my hand, but I can feel that it is starting to come out a little bit. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay. I think that I might have to use the soft jawed pliers though. Okay. I'm just going to screw it back and forth like that. This is pushing out the neck. What's happening is this is getting unscrewed and it's pushing out this part of the neck. I'm going to turn this back and we'll see how far we have left to go. There is more of a gap than there was in there, so I'm going to keep doing that. And pretty soon this part should come unstuck. I'll try that again. Okay, there. Now it's coming out easier. Now this has gone as far as it's going to. So I'm going to put that back in there. This has come out pretty far now, and at this point, it should slide out. There it goes. And there is the one part of the neck, and there's the other. I'm going to take this off now, now that it will come off, and show you what it looks like under here. Okay, there are those two little openings there, and that's what those slide into when you put that in there. What I'm going to do now is clean this up so that it will slide better. I'm going to put it in the chemicals to get some of this junk off of there, and then after that I'm going to clean it up by hand. I got the parts out of the chemicals and I cleaned them up some of the way. I just need to clean up in these cracks here. I'm going to do that with a pipe cleaner, and that should get around in there. I'm also going to clean up in these slots right here and again with a pipe cleaner. You can also use a cloth to get in there too and clean that up. Now these should go together a little bit better. Yeah, that slides in and out well. Now I'm going to put this back together, but before I do, I'm going to put some tuning side grease on here. Not too much, but just a little bit to keep it from getting stuck in the future. Before I put this back together, I'm going to show you how it works. This collar has two sets of threads. There's the larger set of threads that this ring screws onto, and that holds in this part. There's a smaller set of threads on the inside, and that's what screws onto the threads that are on the neck. This part of the neck has this ledge which goes in between this collar and this ring that goes over that. And when you screw that ring on, it keeps this in place. And when you screw this in and out on the other part of the neck, this goes in and out with it. And you use that to tune the saxophone. On this ring, there's a little hole that the screw goes into, and actually on this one there are two holes. I don't know if that's a manufacturer defect or what, but anyway, one of those holes needs to line up with the other hole when you screw in that screw. So I'm going to put this back in now. Now I'm going to screw it in the rest of the way with a screwdriver, and it goes in a lot easier now that everything is all cleaned up. When I turn this around, I'm going to look in that little hole to see where it lines up with the other hole that's drilled out. I got the holes lined up, so I'm going to put the little screw back in there. 
The saxophone neck is put back together and the tuning mechanism now works on it. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and look in the description below for links to related videos.